Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. What encouragement did God give to Joshua right before Moses died? I will increase your house, love the Lord your God, and live. Be strong and of good courage. Trust and obey. The answer is be strong and of good courage. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 23 The Lord gave this command to Joshua son of Nun, Be strong and courageous, for you will bring the Israelites into the land I promised them on oath, and I myself will be with you. Question 2 Who appears to be Israel's primary enemy during the time of Micah? Cush, Assyria, Moab, Edom. The answer is Assyria. Micah chapter 5, verses 5 to 6. And he will be our peace when the Assyrians invade our land and march through our fortresses. We will raise against them seven shepherds, even eight commanders, who will rule the land of Assyria with the sword, the land of Nimrod with drawn sword. He will deliver us from the Assyrians when they invade our land and march across our borders. Question 3. Who did David ask Saul's son Ishbosheth to return to him? Jonathan's only living son, Mephibosheth, his brothers and father, his wife Michal, David's son, Absalom. The answer is his wife Michal. 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 14. Then David sent messengers to Ishbosheth, son of Saul, demanding, Give me my wife Michal, whom I betrothed to myself, for the price of a hundred Philistine foreskins. Question 4. What does Solomon conclude that a wise and a foolish man have in common? They will both eventually die. They can both love God. They can both be taught. They can both pursue happiness. The answer is, they will both eventually die. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 16 for the wise, like the fool, will not be long remembered. The days have already come when both have been forgotten. Like the fool, the wise too must die. Question 5. What does Malachi's name mean? God with us. Teacher. The Lord comforts. Messenger. The answer is Messenger Malachi chapter 3 verse 1 I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple the messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come says the Lord Almighty Question 6 
How many kings did the Israelites kill to claim the land the Lord had given them? 2. 144 31 7 The answer is 31. Joshua, chapter 12, verses 7 to 24. Here is a list of the kings of the land that Joshua and the Israelites conquered on the west side of the Jordan, from Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon to Mount Halak, the king of Tirzah, one, 31 kings in all. Question 7. Which priest reads the law to the people in the book of Nehemiah? Isaiah, Ezra, Zephaniah, Nehemiah. The answer is Ezra, Nehemiah. Chapter 8, verses 2 to 3. Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly. He read it aloud from daybreak till noon as he faced the square before the water gate in the presence of the men, women, and others who could understand. And all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Question 8. Which New Testament apostle had made a total religious commitment to his Pharisaic heritage? Peter, Barnabas, John, Paul. The answer is Paul, Galatians. Chapter 1, verses 13 to 14. Paul was a devout Pharisee who zealously persecuted early Christians before his dramatic conversion on the road to Damascus. This encounter with the risen Christ transformed Paul's life and led him to become one of the most influential figures in the spread of Christianity. Question 9. Who did Cornelius of Caesarea send to get Peter? Two servants and a soldier. A squad of soldiers. His butler. Simon the Tanner. The answer is two servants and a soldier. Acts chapter 10, verses 7 to 8. When the angel who spoke to him had gone, Cornelius called two of his servants and a devout soldier who was one of his attendants. He told them everything that had happened and sent them to Joppa. Question 10. At the time of Moses and the children of Israel in the wilderness, who were the priests? Men appointed by the people, Aaron's sons, Moses and Joshua, men from the tribe of Dan. The answer is Aaron's sons, Leviticus, chapter 1, verse 7. You are to skin the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. The sons of Aaron the priest are to put fire on the altar and arrange wood on the fire. Then Aaron's sons, the priests, shall arrange the pieces, including the head and the fat, on the wood that is burning on the altar. Question 11. How did Ahab eventually acquire the vineyard of Naboth that he wanted? The king traded some of his own land with him. He convinced Naboth to sell. His wife Jezebel had Naboth killed. The king took it from him in taxes.
The answer is, his wife Jezebel had Naboth killed. 1 Kings chapter 21, verses 1 to 16. As soon as Jezebel heard that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Get up and take possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite, that he refused to sell you. He is no longer alive, but dead. When Ahab heard that Naboth was dead, he got up and went down to take possession of Naboth's vineyard. Question 12. What did Paul do before his conversion? He was a fisherman. He persecuted the church. He worked as a carpenter. He worked as a tax collector. The answer is, he persecuted the church. Galatians chapter 1 verse 13 For you have heard of my previous way of life in Judaism, how intensely I persecuted the church of God and tried to destroy it. I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people and was extremely zealous for the traditions of my fathers. Question 13. How was the woman who had been bleeding for twelve years healed? Jesus touched her hand. She touched Jesus' clothing. Jesus spoke to her. Jesus told her to go and wash at the temple. The answer is, she touched Jesus' clothing. Mark chapter 5, verses 27 to 29. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak, because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately her bleeding stopped, and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. Question 14. Who did the Philippians send to take care of Paul's needs? Epaphroditus Euodius Syntyche Timotheus The answer is Epaphroditus Philippians Chapter 2, verse 25. But I think it is necessary to send back to you Epaphroditus, my brother, co worker, and fellow soldier, who is also your messenger, whom you sent to take care of my needs. Question 15 Who does Paul promise to send to Titus? Pudens or Linus? Eubulus or Erastus, Onesiphorus or Trophimus, Artemis or Tychicus. The answer is Artemis or Tychicus. Titus chapter 3, verse 12. As soon as I send Artemis or Tychicus to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, because I have decided to winter there. Do everything you can to help Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on their way and see that they have everything they need. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.